to British Biomedicine Institute. Today, I, Dr. Pramod Khatri, is going to represent a simple topic named as ESR, Erythrocyte Sedimentation Rate. The objective are, at the end of this chapter, the student will be able to define ESR, discuss the factor which affect ESR, explain the stages of ESR, state the principles of Wister Green methods of ESR determination, state the principles of intro methods of ESR determination and list the material required to perform ESR by Western Green or Wintro method. Discuss the advantage and disadvantage of ESR determined by Western Green or Wintro method. Perform ESR measurements on a sample using Wister Green or Wintro method and list sources of error in ESR determination, indicate the normal value and the clinical implications of ESR determination and perform quality control in ESR determination. Definition Basically, an ESR is the rate of fall or sedimentation of red blood cells when an anticoagulate period uh, blood is allowed to stand undisturbed for a specific period of time, particularly one hour. The rate is expressed in mm per hour. It is basically a non-specific test and it is used as an index of presence and extent of inflammation or we can say acute phase response and it responds to treatment example uh, TB tuberculosis or RA rheumatoid arthritis. The significance of measuring the ESR is Normal ESR cannot be taken to exclude the presence of organic disease. Majority of acute or chronic infections or most neoplastic or degenerative disease are associated with change in plasma protein which lead to an acceleration of sedimentation rate. The principle behind this is that the ESR is determined by filling a narrow pipette of predetermined length and bore with well mixed anticoagulated blood or placing it in a vertical position for a set period of time at the end of which the distance from the top of the column to the interference between the plasma and sedimented red cells is recorded and expressed in mm per unit time. There are various stages, basically three. In an initial period of 10 minutes or we can say round X formation can take place. A period of approximately 40, period, uh, 40 minutes, basically a settling or sedimentation occurs at a constant rate and third, a slower rate of fall, uh, particularly 10 minutes. Basically here the packaging of the sedimentary red cell column can occur. The second stage is the most significant phase. There are various factors which can affect the ESR. First one is your plasma effect of plasma protein. Basically, the relationship between the plasma protein and Rowlex formation is the, for, is the basis of measurement of ESR as a non-specific test of inflammation and tissue damage. Red cell pose a net negative charge or we can say zeta potential and when suspended in normal plasma, Rowlex formation is minimal and sedimentation is slow. Alteration is in proportion and concentration of various hydrophilic protein fractions of the plasma occur following tissue injury and in response to the inflammation. Reduce the zeta potential and increase the rate of Rowlex formation and the size of aggregates, thus increasing the rate of sedimentation. The ESR show a linear relationship with the concentration of fibrinogen and alpha and beta globulin. In most acute infections and chronic pathological processes, these fractions are increased and thus enhancing the ESR. The albumin which tend to counteract Rowlex formation diminishes the concentration of hypoalbuminemia which is basically an inflammatory process 
for that increasing the sedimentation rate second the fact second factor is influence of plasma viscosity basically the esr and plasma viscosity in general increase in tangler but plasma viscosity may increase to extent of masking the rowlex forming property of the plasma protein and the third effect is effect of rb factors basically an efficient rowlex formation depend on normal shape and size of red cells and also cytosis and pyrogliocytosis can reduce the ability of red cells to form large aggregates hence reducing the sedimentation rate anemia by altering the ratio of red cells to plasma increase rowlex formation and accelerate sedimentation cellular factors may affect sedimentation thus in iron deficiency iron anemia a reduction in the intrinsic ability of the red cells to sediment may compensate of the, uh, for the accelerating effect of an increased proportion of plasma the fourth factor which can affect our uh, effect of mechanical influence basically the condition under which the esr is performed may influence the result perpendicularly of the sedimentation pipette like if there is a slight deviation from the vertical will increase the rate of sedimentation a three angle inclusion can increase esr by 30% vibration can also affect so basically vibration can reduce the esr by retarding the rate of rowlex formation for example centrifugation at the same table if there is a vibration going on fifth point effect of temperature high temperature can falsely elevated result basically with the help of reduction in plasma viscosity nevertheless vibration in the ambient temperature of the laboratory is unlikely to be a significant problem unless the tube is exposed to direct sunlight next point determination of esr can be done with the help of two basic points like your mr green or wintro method in wistring green method is basically an icsh reference method for esr determination and for this we need material like wistring green cast tube basically it is an open glass tube with an overall length of 300 mm and bore of 2.5 mm and graduated portion measured between 200 mm wistring green rack or stand is also required 30.88 tri uh, sodium citrate is needed and a rubber teat or pipette filter is also needed to carry this wistring green method so this is a diagram of a wistring green rack and tube and here we will be running our test procedure venous blood is diluted accurately in the portion proportion of one volume of citrate to four volume of blood the blood may be directly collected into the citrate solution or in an edta anticoagulated blood is used mix thoroughly with by gentle repeated inversion esr preparation should preferably be set up with 2 hours of blood collection but underlying under extenuating circumstances may be refrigerated overnight at 4 degrees celsius before testing a clean dry wistring green cast pipette is carefully filled and adjusted to the zero mark on the top the pipette is placed in a strictly vertical position in the wistring green stand under room temperature conditions first point second point not exposed to direct sunlight third point away from any vibrations or draft and we have to allow the stand for exactly 1 hour after 1 hour read to the nearest 1 mm the height of the clear plasma above the upper limit of the column of sedimenting red cells now comes the reporting the reports the results can be expressed in the esr equals to x mm per hour a poor delineation of the upper layer of red cells the so called 
stratified sedimentation has been attributed to the presence of many lactobacilli. The main advantage of Wistagen method is it is more reliable than clinical state. It is the most sensitive method for serial study of coronary disease like tuberculosis. The main disadvantage is that it requires a large amount of blood. Second, it involves a dilution which may be one source of error. And the normal ranges for men are 0 to 15 mm per hour and for female it is between 0 to 20 mm per hour. There is a progressive increase with age as there is decline in plasma albumin concentration. ESR is ESR is increased in pregnancy as there is a decrease in plasma albumin due to first point hypovolemia and second point an increase in concentration of alpha globulin and fibrinogen. Second method is your Wintrop method. Basically, it is used as a tube close at the one end, 11 cm long with a bore of 2.5 mm and having a graduated scale from 0 to 100 mm and a special Wintrop rack is available. So in the diagram, Wintrop rack is visible. The procedure. Blood is collected with EDTA in the right proportion. Second point, enough blood to fill Wintrop uh, tube approximately 1 ml is drawn in the Pasteur pipette having a long stem. The Wintrop tube is then filled from the bottom up so as to exclude any air bubbles to zero mark. The tube is placed in the Wintrop rack in exactly vertical position and the time is noted. At the end of one hour of ESR, is read as the length of the plasma column above the cells and is expressed in x mm per hour. The main advantage of intro method is that it is simple, require small amount of blood and no dilution is needed. With the same preparation, once the ESR has been read, the hematocrit value can be determined after centrifugation. Microbilirubin determination can be made on the supernatant plasma and smear of buffy coat can be made. The main disadvantage is that because of short column, it is only sensitive when the ESR is low and when the disease, in, as in the case of acute stage, it, uh, this pose a main disadvantage. And the normal ranges for the men are 0 to 7 mm per hour and for female, the normal ranges are 0 to 15 mm per hour. Now comes the quality control. There has to be a strict compliance to the SOP, particularly timing, your positioning of the ESR rack, and quality control samples are commercially available. Now comes the sources of error. Basically, if there is an improper filling of tube, can be lead to an error. First point. Second point, if you are using your old specimens, I suppose you have performed within two hours of collection or cold agglutinin can cause a false elevated ESR or fourth point clotted or hemorrhized blood sample. Now comes the technical tips. Tube must be completely filled to the zero mark. First point, hemorrhized samples are not accepted. There should be no air bubble. Refrigerated specimen must come from come to room temperature for 30 minutes prior to testing. Refrigerated samples is used within 24 hours if the test cannot be performed within 2 hours of sample collection. The ESR rack must be on the surface level and free from any type of vibration. And we must strictly follow the SOP. So this is all about the presentation. I hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please like, share, subscribe our YouTube channel named as British Biomedicine Institute. Good luck. Goodbye.